to Our Lady of Lebanon Cathedral. We're on page 318, 318, and today's Divine Liturgy is offered for the repose of the soul of Fadia Esper Zahran, requested by Mr. and Mrs. Salim Shaya. We also pray uh, for the support of uh, Evlia Duffis, requested by Belinda, and we remember also uh, George Rose and John Metley and Salim Karkwa requested by Mr. and Mrs. Ghassan Matin. Once again, welcome, we're on page 318. Lord Jesus, make us worthy in the abundance of your grace and mercy to glorify your resurrection with pure hearts, to celebrate your victory with holy hymns, and to proclaim your might with pure tongues. We thank you for your love and worship you, crying out, Christ is risen, he is truly risen. To you be glory to your Father and to your Holy Spirit now and forever. Amen. Amen. فعنا التسبيح والمجد والإكرام إلى الحي الذي لا يموت الذي يحيى برياه بصلبه وخلص بيعته بقيامته وفرح بنهوده وفرح برعيته بنهوده وسيفرح ميراته بظهوره الصالح الذي له المجد والإكرام في هذا العيد وكل أيام حياتنا إلى الأبد. We worship and praise you, only begotten Son. You descended into the darkness of the tomb and worked wonders in the realm of the dead. By your resurrection, you freed the captives. And by your voice you awaken the righteous and the just who had gone to their rest in the sleep of death. You gathered the nations to worship you and to proclaim your salvation. They rejoice and cry out, On Friday the king endured pain and was crucified, and today victory has been achieved by his resurrection. On Friday... A lance pierced his side, and today, in his compassion, the waters of baptism flow. On Friday, he was crowned with thorns, and today he has adorned his church with a crown of splendor. Today is the day of rejoicing in the resurrection. Today is the day of rejoicing for all who have gone to their rest in the hope of the resurrection. Today, with the fragrance of this incense, the church and her children celebrate and sing hymns of glory, saying, O creator of life, you have saved us by your passion and have given us life by your resurrection. Now renew our image in your grace. Clothe our bodies with the power of the Spirit so that we may shine in the robe of glory and in its light see you, the true bridegroom. In your grace, make us and all the faithful departed worthy of your heavenly kingdom, that we may raise glory and thanks to you, to your Father, and to your Holy Spirit forever.
But more, O Lamb of God, who sac sacrificed yourself for us, we give you thanks. O incense of fragrance, we worship you, for you have brought us close to your Father, enriched us by your birth, purified us by your baptism, sanctified us by your re crucifixion, reconciled us to the Father by your resurrection, raised us by your ascension, and adorned us with the gifts of your Holy Spirit. Now, O Lord, accept our incense and fill us always with your sweet fragrance, so that our tongues may never cease in giving thanks to you forever. Amen. أفكارنا ونقي ضمائرنا فنسبحك تسبيحا نقيا ونصي إلى كتبك المقدسة لك المجد إلى الأباء the Lord of Paul and the Apostles, and may the mercy of God descend upon the readers, the listeners, upon this parish and their children forever. Brothers and sisters, remember Jesus Christ, raised from the dead, a descendant of David. Such is my gospel, for which I am suffering, even to the point of chains, like a criminal. But the word of God is not chains. Therefore, I believe with everything for the sake of those who are chosen so that they too may obtain the salvation that is in Christ Jesus together with eternal glory. <coughs> this saying is trustworthy. If we have died with him, we shall also live with him. If we persevere, we shall also reign with him. But if we deny him, he will deny us. If we are unfaithful, he remains faithful, for he cannot deny himself.
فصل من رسالة القديس بولس الرسول الثانية إلى تلميذه تيموثاوس وبارك يا سيد يا أخوتي وأنت يا ابني تذكر يسوع المسيح الذي قام من بين الأموات وهو من نسل داود بحسب إنجيلي الذي فيه أحتمل المشقات حتى القيود كمجرم لكن كلمة الله لا تقيد لذلك أصبر على كل شيء من أجل المختارين ليحصلوا هم أيضا على الخلاص في المسيح يسوع مع المجد الأبدي صادقة هي الكلمة إن متنا معه نحيا معه وإن صبرنا نملك معه وإن أنكرناه ينكرنا وإن كنا غير أمناء فهو يبقى أمينا لأنه لا يقدر أن ينكر نفسه والتسبيح لله دائما Of our Lord Jesus Christ, according to Saint Luke, who proclaimed life to the world, let us listen to the proclamation of life and salvation for our souls. The evangelist Luke writes, Now that very day, two of them were going to a village seven miles from Jerusalem called Emmaus, and they were conversing about all the things that had occurred. And it happened that while they were conversing and debating, Jesus himself drew near and walked with them. But their eyes were prevented from recognizing. He asked them, What are you discussing as you walk along? They stopped, looking downcast. One of them, named Clopas, said to him in reply, Are you the only visitor to Jerusalem who does not know of the things that have taken place there in these days? And he replied to them, What sort of things? They said to him, The things that happened to Jesus, the Nazarene, who was a prophet, mighty in deed and word before God and all the people how our chief priests and rulers both handed him over to a sentence of death and crucified him. But we were hoping that he would be the one to redeem Israel. And besides all this, it is now the third day since this took place. Some of the women from our group, however, have astounded us. They were at the tomb early in the morning and did not find his body. They came back and reported that they had indeed seen a vision of angels who announced that he was alive. Then some of those went with us to the tomb, 
and found things just as the woman had described. But him they did not see. And he said to them, Oh, how foolish you are! How slow of heart to believe all that the prophets spoke! Was it not necessary that the Messiah should suffer these things and enter into his glory? Then beginning with Moses and all the prophets, he interpreted to them what referred to him in all the scriptures. As they approached the village to which they were going, he gave the impression that he was going on further. But, he ur but they urged him, stay with us, for it is nearly evening and the day is almost over. So he went in to stay with them. And it happened that while he was with them at table, he took bread, said the blessing, broke it, and gave it to them. With that, their eyes were opened, and they recognized him, but he vanished from their sight. Then they said to each other, Were not our hearts burning within us while he spoke to us on the way, and opened the scriptures to us? So they set out at once and returned to Jerusalem, where they found gathered together the eleven and those with them, who were saying, The Lord has truly been raised, and has appeared to Simon. Then the two recounted what had taken place on the way and how he was made known to them in the breaking of the bread. قال <clears throat> البشير <clears throat> في اليوم عينه كان اثنان من تلاميذه ذاهبين ذاهبين إلى قرية تدعى عماوس تبعد نحو سبعة أميال عن أورشليم وكانا يتحدثان بكل تلك الأمور التي حدثت وفيما هما يتحدثان ويتساءلان إذا يسوع نفسه قد اقترب منهما وراح يسير معهما ولكن أعينهما أمسكت عن معرفته أما هو فقال لهما ما هذا الكلام الذي تتحدثان به وأنتما تسيران فوقفا عابسين وأجاب أحدهما واسمه كليوباس فقال له هل أنت وحدك غريب عن أورشليم؟ فلا تعلم ما حدث فيها هذه الأيام فقال لهما وما هي قال له ما يتعلق بيسوع الناصري الذي كان رجلا نبيا قويا بالقول والفعل قدام الله والشعب كله وكيف أسلمه أحبارنا ورؤساؤنا ليحكم عليه بالموت وكيف صلبوه وكنا نحن نرجو أن يكون هو الذي سيفدي إسرائيل ولكن مع هذا كله فهذا هو اليوم الثالث بعد تلك الأحداث لكن بعض النساء من جماعتنا أدهشننا لأنهن ذهبنا إلى القبر عند الفجر ولم يجدنا جسد يسوع فرجعنا وقلنا إنهن شاهدنا ملائكة رأوا لهن وقالوا إنه حي ومضى قوم من الذين معنا إلى القبر فوجدوه هكذا كما قالت النساء أما يسوع فلم يروه فقال لهما يسوع يا عديمي الفهم وبطئي القلب في الإيمان بكل ما تكلم به الأنبياء أما كان يجب على المسيح أن يعاين تلك الألام ثم يدخل في مجده وفسر لهما ما يتعلق به في كل الكتب المقدسة مبتدئا بموسى وجميع الأنبياء واقتربا من القرية التي كانا ذاهبين إليها فتظاهر يسوع بأنه ذاهب إلى مكان أبعد فتمسكا به قائلين أمكث معنا فقد حان المساء ومال النهار فدخل ليمكث معهما وفيما كان وفيما كان متكئا معهما اخذ الخبز وبارك وكسر ونولهما 
فانفتحت أعينهما وعرفا فإذا هو قد توارى عنهما فقال أحدهما للآخر أما كان قلبنا مضطربا فينا حين كان يكلمنا في الطريق ويشرح لنا الكتب وقاما من تلك الساعة عينها ورجعا إلى أورشليم فوجدا الأحد عشر والذين معهم مجتمعين وهم يقولون حقا إن الرب قام وتراء لسمعان أما هما فكانا يخبران بما حدث في الطريق وكيف عرفا يسوع عند كسر الخبز فرخ مور This is the truth حقا والأمان لجميعكم story of Jesus appearing to his disciples, to two of his disciples on the road to Emmaus on this third Sunday of the resurrection. A wonderful and a story that we know very well because growing up it was the story that you hear, it was the story that you can imagine of two people just going away uh, from the center of the event, just leaving a little bit and going to Emmaus, probably going back home just to rest a little bit and to just take it some time off to relax from what is going on and the pressure that these disciples were under as they see their master being crucified and dying on the cross and all the reports that happened afterwards. You know, when we are under a lot of pressure, many of us these days, and a lot of confusion and doubts and really not knowing what to do, we decide to flee the situation. And these two disciples really decided, you know what, we had enough of that, let us flee. Let us take off. And feeling that when we come back, things will be resolved, no? But usually things will stay the same. Nothing will be resolved because sometimes we have to deal with it. Every now and then we have to confront a little bit, as much as we want to just withdraw from the situation, thinking with time things will take care of it. It's not going to happen this way all the time. These two disciples, even though, and this is the core of the passage, even though they knew that Christ was a prophet, mighty in deed and in words, and he was the one to redeem Israel. They knew that fact very well. They knew also that some of our women, some of the people who were with us, went to the tomb and they found the tomb empty and they had an appearance of angels who told them that he is raised from the dead. And other disciples went and were and witnessed that he is not there. Even with that report. Even with kind of the doubt is kind of being going away because he might have been raised. There is some, you know, interesting facts here. Even with that, they decided to leave. They decided to flee the situation even though they are more and more getting to the knowledge, getting to the evidence that Christ is raised from the dead. It needed them to invite Christ one more time. The Arabic word is, is very much apropos. At the time when he was pretending that he's going to the next town when they get when, when the night when the day is over and the night is near, and he was pretending that he's going to the next town, the two disciples, the Arabic said, Tamasaka bihi. They get hold of him. They, in Tamasaka, it's they physically dragged him. 
the Arabic, they invited him. The English said they invited him to stay with them. The Arabic, I think it's stronger and most likely it represents more the Greek. They took hold of him to stay with them. For us today, those who have heard of the resurrection, those who have experienced Christ probably sometimes walking with them, or sometimes feeling that he is absent and we cannot see it or our eyes have kept from seeing him. Stuff that we are going through these days and the fear that we are living in, we need to just grab onto Jesus. That's the only time where we would feel the peace needed. We have to. If we're going to continue leading a life that yeah, it happened, didn't happen, the resurrection was a myth. They created that story for us to believe, and this is what we hear all the time. I hear it from the young people a lot. I mean, what is the proof of the resurrection? How could we know that he, is, he was raised from the dead? Yes, the tomb is empty, what, but what, what else? You're not going to get that what else. What was presented to, to these two disciples at that time was enough for them to stay in Jerusalem and not to leave just to investigate a little bit more of what's going on. But because of their doubt, probably because of their fear, they decided to flee. And we do that all the time. We are at the verge of knowing something, at the verge of something being revealed to us. It might have been a little too more. We decide, well, let's flee. And we take off. But there will be, like what happened with these two disciples, there will be another opportunity and Christ will walk with us. And he will give us what is needed, the catechesis needed, the teaching that is needed all the way. Even with that, even with that, we will not know that it is him unless we invite him over, unless we grab him. Unless نتمسك فيه ومن الله stay with us. We have to do that. If we don't do that, we're going to continue a life that is good, beautiful, <coughs> normal, but no transformation. And Christ is not going to impose on us himself. He is not. He is going to pretend a lot of times. He is going to the next town over. He's continuing the walk. If we don't take the initiative and tell him, Lord, stay with us, it's, that it's getting dark. And for sure, what happened the past couple hours, those of you who are following the news, it is getting dark. The world is darker and darker. If we don't grab onto Christ and tell him, stay with us, the day is over and the night is near. We're not going to feel that transformation. Invite him over. Don't let anything stop you from doing that. These two disciples thought about it. They said, yes, but there is no evidence. Let us go. Give you an example of, you know, today. A lot of people are watching online. You know why? Because they felt that the BQE is closed today. I assured them. We had that nine months ago. It will be closed before the church, after the church. So you will be able to exit. We assured that. The Knights sent emails. The ladies sent emails that, you know, it's going to be open. Just try it. Just let's do it one time. But sometimes we just don't want to kind of take that extra mile. Today is the time for us to think. What I have at hand is enough for me to act. These two disciples had enough information, but they decided to flee. They decided to escape the situation. Christ met them. He gave them more information. 
at that time, I think, this is when they make the leap and they grabbed onto him. They invited him over. So today, invite Christ into your home. Invite him and grab of him, grab onto him and tell him, stay with us, dwell with us, Lord. We need you at this time. Let nothing at all stop us from trying. We have to try. We have to. So Lord God, help us to understand more and more your beauty and your graces that you have bestowed upon us. You have a peace that the world cannot offer. These two disciples witnessed that peace even though they had a lot of doubts. But it was that personal connection, your revelation to them that helped them. Reveal yourself to us, O oh Lord. And may we see that revelation clearly. To the most holy trinity we pray. The Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, forever and ever. Please turn to page 748 for the Creed 748. Please stand. نؤمن بإله واحد.
Almighty Lord and God, you accepted the offerings of our ancestors. Now accept these offerings that your children have brought to you out of their love for you and your holy name. Shower your spiritual blessings upon them and in place of the earthly gifts, grant them life and your kingdom. Amen. As we remember our Lord God and Savior Jesus Christ, his plan of salvation for us, to recall upon this offering all those who please God from Adam to this day, especially Mary, the blessed mother of God, St. Joseph, her spouse, St. Mary. Remember, O oh God, the children of the Holy Church, our fathers and mothers, brothers and sisters, both the living and the departed, especially those for whom this sacrifice is offered. For Fadia Esper Zahran, requested by Mr. and Mrs. Salim Shaya. We also pray for Evlia Duffes, requested by Belinda. And we pray for the repose of the soul of George, Rose, John, Metley, and Salim Karkoa requested by Mr. and Mrs. Ghassan Metli. Remember also, Lord, all those who share with us today in this offering. of St. Peter, the head of the Apostles, on page 774, 774. and assistance for a week, and you are support and refuge of all. 
We raise glory to you, to your only Son, and to your Holy Spirit, now and forever. Amen. Ya Rabb, adhi bi wajhika alayna alan wa khallisna min kulli shar wa mhu jamia mukhalafatina fa narfa al majda wa shukra ilayk wa ila abnika al wahid wa ruhika al quddus alan wa ila al abad. Amen. The love of God the Father. The grace of the only begotten Son, communion and indwelling of the Holy Spirit be with you, my brothers and sisters, forever. And with your spirit. Let us lift up our thoughts, our minds, and our hearts. We lift, we lift them up to the Lord. Lord. Give thanks to the Lord with reverence. Worship Him with humility. It, it is, is right and just. just. Truly, it is right and just to glorify and exalt you, O Maker of all creation. With the angels we glorify you, and with voices of praise we cry out and proclaim. لأنك بحبك للبشر أرسلت ابنك إلى العالم وتجسد من مريم البتول لخلاصنا كريا ليسو بيوم أودك دم حاشو دي لما بيت حاية ساب اللحم بيدو قادي شوتو بارخ قادش وقصو يا بلت الميدا وكدوما ساب خول من كل خول هونو ديني تاو فغرو دي دحلو فيكون وعلو ساقي متكسو متيه حوسو يتحب والحاي دلعلم المي آمين خانو الكوسو دم زيو من حمر ومن مايو بارخ قاد قبل تلميدا وكدمار سابشتا ومن كل خور هونو داني تاو تمودي ردي اتيقي احداتو دحلو فيكون وحلو ساقي متشير ومتيهر Also, you're taube wal hai, the lola mulmi. Page 780. He then commanded and instructed them, saying, Each time you celebrate these mysteries, you remember my death and resurrection until I come again. We remember your death, O Lord. We profess your resurrection. We await your second coming. We implore your mercy and compassion. We ask for the forgiveness of sins. May your mercy rest upon us. فيما نحن نذكر يا رب مجيئك الخلاص ومجيئك الثاني نقدم لك التسبيح 
مبتهلين لا تسلمنا بسبب خطايانا يوم تدين الأبرار والخطأ بل ترأف بنا وارحمنا وأشح بوجهك عن خطايانا وعضدنا لذلك تضرع إليك بيعتك ورعيتك وبك ومعك إلى بيك وهي تقول ارحمنا أيها الآب الضافر كل ارحمنا O Lord, as we, your sinful children, receive your graces, we thank you for them and because of them. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we profess our faith in you and we ask you, have compassion on us, O God, have mercy on us and hear us. ينحدر فيها الروح الحي القدوس ويحل على هذا القربان الموضوع لتقديسنا فلنقف مصلينا خاشعين ارحمنا اللهم ارحمنا وارسل علينا وعلى هذه القرابين روحك القدوس فيعددنا ويسامحنا انيموريو 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 نيتمور روحك حي وقديشو نجين علينا القربون هونو بحلول هذا الخبز جسد المسيح إلهنا آمين على مزيج هذه الكأس دم المسيح إلهنا آمين May those who share in these mysteries be cleansed body and soul from every sin and receive eternal life آمين O Lord, accept our intercessions and prayers and grant us security to your people and peace to your flock. Protect our shepherds, Francis, the Pope of Rome, Bashar of Peter, our Patriarch of Antioch, and Gregory, our Bishop. Assist the priests, the deacons, and all those who serve your holy church so that they may intercede and pray to you on our behalf. We pray to you, O Lord. Lord, have mercy. Waskuri ya Rabb man talabu an nathkurahum. ومن راموا أن يقربوا فما استطاعوا واذكر من يعددون بيعتك المقدسة كن لهم سترا ومذبحا لأنك مخلص الجميع نسألك يا رب يا رب الرحمن Remember, O Lord, the civil leaders in our country and throughout the world Enlighten their conscience to bring security and peace to your people We pray to you, O Lord Lord, have mercy واذكر يا رب البتول القديسة والدة الله مريم ومعها جميع الأنبياء والرسل والشهداء والمعترفين ومار مارون ومار شربل والقديسة رفقة والقديسين كافة ساعدنا بصلواتهم وأهلنا لحظهم ونصيبهم نسألك يا رب يا رب الرحمن Remember, O Lord, the righteous fathers and teachers who have gone to their rest among the saints. Remember those who diligently carried your gospel throughout the whole world and confirmed your holy church in the true faith. Assist us through their prayers and strengthen us in your love. We pray to you, O Lord. Lord, have mercy. Remember, O Lord, in favor remember, O Lord, our parents, brothers and sisters, teachers, and all the faithful departed here and everywhere who have gone to their rest especially your servants, Fadia, George, Rose, and John. Forgive us and forgive them of all sins and offenses. Through our Lord God and Savior Jesus Christ, who is without sin, we hope to find mercy and forgiveness for our sins and for theirs. Grant us, O God, to the departed, and forgive the sins we have committed, with and without full knowledge. Samahna Allahumma wa aghfir lana wa lahum. فيتمجد بنا وبكل شيء اسمك المبارك مع اسم ربنا يسوع المسيح وروحك الحي القدوس الان والى الابد كما كان وهو الان هكذا يكون الى الابد امين
together on page 787. O oh Lord, you are, you are the pleasing of who offered yourself for us. You are the forgiving sacrifice who offered yourself to your Father. You are the high priest who offered yourself as a lamb. Through your mercy, may our play lives like incense, which we offer to your Father to you. To you be glory forever. O oh God the Father, you strengthen and encourage us, for we are weak. We implore you to purify us from every sin and to accept our offering, so that in one spirit we may call upon you, praying, Our, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as you forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation. But the deliver us from evil, for the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. تدخلنا يا رب في امتحان التجارب لأننا لا قوة لنا عليها بل نجنا من كل شر لأن لك الملكوت والقدرة والمجد ولابنك الوحيد ولروحك القدوس الآن وإلى الأبد آمين. السلام لجميعكم نحن رؤوسكم أمام الله الرؤوف وأمام مذبح الغافر وأمام جسد مخلص ودمه المحي لمن يتناوله واقبلوا البركة من الرب Lord, bless your worshippers who bow before you and implore you, make them worthy of your mercy, forgive their sins for your almighty and rich in compassion. We raise glory and thanks to you, to only Son and to Holy Spirit, now and forever. Amen. Amen. The grace of the Most Holy Trinity, eternal, consubstantial, be with you, my brothers and sisters, forever. And with your spirit. Holy gifts for the holy, with perfection, purity, and sanctity. One holy Father, one holy Son, one Holy Spirit. Blessed be the name of the Lord, for He is one in heaven and on earth, to Him be glory forever. Make us worthy, O Lord God, so that our bodies may be sanctified by Your holy body, and our souls purified by Your forgiving blood. May our communion be for the forgiveness of our sins, and for new life, O Lord our God, to You be glory forever. Thank you. 